G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today I'm taking a walk up on the camel farm on the Bibbulmun track, just up to the Hewitt shelter. And that's 3.2 kilometers each way. And when I get there, I'll make myself a coffee or a tea, whatever I fancy when I get there. And I'm going to put up the goshawk hammock. Just a, a practice day today. Let's have another quick look at it. Might even end up getting an hour or two nap. The forecast for today, they're forecasting up to 29 degrees centigrade. They're not as hot as it has been, but still just nice. Plenty of water in the pack. There's water at the shelter, main water tanks. So hydration wise, all good. about the wind if it's uh, interfering with the audio quality that's something I can't control but it's nice to get the odd breeze now and then just to keep yourself nice and cool also in my pack I've got a hoochie which is like a tarp I think they're also known as a, a basher back in the UK so I'll be playing with that too. Throwing the ridge line up and hanging that to see if it's going to be big enough to cover the goshawk. There you go, who needs to go to a museum to see art when Mother Nature can provide it for you? Had a great surprise. 10 minutes into my walk and I bumped into a subscriber. How fantastic is that, eh? In the middle of it, the bush in Australia. And there's one of my subscribers. Really made my day. That did. Thank you, Jeff. Send us an email down below. My email address is down there, it's uh, c.p, no, c.d.p.outdoors.2 at gmail.com Send us a message mate, that'd be good. Maybe you can catch up and have a little wander, or do an overnighter if you want. I'll be straight up honest with you. I've got my walkie sling so I can't put the hammock up. But 
I'll carry on. I'll get the tarp up finished and egg it out. Get my chair out and just chill out underneath for a while. This is the, the Helinox Chair Zero I'm using. I think this chair's been used quite regular. Not the best of spots with all ants everywhere you look. I'm having to knock them off my pack every time I go over there. Yeah. They're all the ants and climbing over my pack. I'm just going to do use a paracord and make a pack holder to put up on the tree to reduce the amount of ants that will get on it and keep it up off the dirt and I've done a review of one of these quite a few videos ago but never shown how I actually made it so what I'll do I'll just give you a quick demo with this one how easy they are to make there's only a small tree over there so I'm only going to take What's that? Just over. Ah, uh, don't need that much. About a meter. And I'm just going to do, I think, what they call an overhand knot to make a loop at this end. There's the first loop, and I'm just going to make a loop on this end. I'm watching the ants going crazy because I'm in their space now. So there we go, two loops. And all we do is wrap that around the tree, push the first loop through, we'll pass a stick through there, the handle of the pack, and just hang it from the tree. Let's go and do that. First thing we're going to do is take the double looped piece of paracord, so to bring it around the tree, pass that loop through. And it's just the right size by the looks of it. That's a good guess. Pick a fallen branch up. Next thing. Oh. That's it. I'll hook it to my grab handle. And there we go, the pack's up off the ground. There it is, the pack's up off the ground. And now this makes it so much easier for me to get into my pack whenever I want anything. I don't have to get on my hands and knees, easy access, same to my pouches. In and out my pouches with these. No need to climb on the ground. I've had a few people moan at me for using this. Saying the pack just throw it on the ground. The more often you throw it on the ground, the dirtier it gets, the more you've got to clean it, the quicker it wears out. Doing this, you can extend the life of your pack by a good few years. 
So I'm hoping to look after this so even my grandchildren or even my great grandchildren will be able to use it. There you go, the first loop's there. Bring it around the tree through again to the second loop. Hook it under the handle, grab handle. There's a loop here with the stick coming through. And that's it, that's all that holds it up. Nice and secure. And like I say, easy to get access to your, your kit. Keeps it off the floor away from the critters. Yes, you'll still get the odd bog kit to your pack, but a lot less than if I'd had it on the ground. So now I can go kick back and just relax. Let's give you a quick look at this Suchi. Oh yeah, your, your basho or small tarp. These are made for the armed forces, this style. And you can see we've got good copper loops there, so you can pick it out from there. We've got the press tits here, on here, all along, plenty of attachment points. And the reason for these press studs are, if I show you, on this side you can see these are the, the actual studs or the, the male version. And if you come to this side, you'll see the other poppers or the female, which the other bits just clip into. And that means that if there's two guys out on patrol or doing anything, and they're both carrying one of these, they can actually attach the two and make an even larger shelter. And yes, it's in multicam. And I've done set it out today in the, the diamond shape because I was going to have my hammock underneath just to test it out. But looking at it, I think I've got plenty of room there to fit the hammock underneath. And this is just the one. And that's how much room you've got under it. Bit of a wind and moan time now. When I got to the shelter here, there's a group of young ones in it, put it that way. And polite. But I don't think the younger generation have got any idea. They had their music blaring away. Excuse me, I'm trying to get a knife off my belt here. I can stand up. And be comfortable now. Yeah, they, they had the music blaring away, so they weren't thinking of anyone else around them. But at the same time, these young ones were probably 25, 30 years younger than me. But the music they were actually playing, I liked. It was from when I was their age, actually. So they say. It goes around in circles, so now the music, uh, they're playing the music back from the 80s. So, let's talk this out of the way, it's tickling my neck. That's better. So the music was pleasant to me, but I just wish they weren't playing it because past being out of here is just enjoying the peace and quiet and the sounds of Mother Nature. Move around a little bit, just feel the heat up. So that's it. Completely in the shade now. Yeah, even without the the hammock today, sitting here under the shelter, it's still worth getting out. This actual pitch I'm sat on now, I was on. Almost a, uh, not far off a year ago, on my first anniversary of YouTube. On this actual pitch, and I was using the DD Superlight. What was it? I can't remember if it was a DD Superlight hammock or the Sea to Summit. Uh, to be honest, I can't remember. I think it was the DD Superlight hammock. 
if I'll go back and have a look and I'll, I'll put it up here somewhere and on that day I got a signal and my phone went ping and it was a message from YouTube telling me or congratulating me on my one year anniversary of my first video going up on YouTube so that was nice that was really nice the weather wasn't as sunny as this it was uh, it was just coming into the wet season but I still enjoyed it, there's less people around. Yeah, I'm going to spend probably another 10 minutes here. And then I'll make my way home and I'll edit this video so I can put it up tomorrow for you guys. And if I get a chance I'll do some more filming on the way back. And again to Jeff. <laughs> It was good to meet you, mate. R really, really nice surprise that was. If anybody else wants to get in contact, my email address to the channel is down below in the, not the comment section, the notification section, that's it. And it's c.d.p.outdoors.2 at gmail.com. So if you want to send me messages, any private messages that you don't want anybody else to know or you would just want to send me questions and ask and I'll do my best to answer them on a future video or even better still just anybody watching it send me questions to my gmail account and I'll put a another question and answer video together and do my best to answer all your questions for you but until then I'm going to just kick back here and relax and it's been nice getting out here making a video for you guys again so if you're new to my channel please go down below and click on that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it and click that like button because the more likes I get the more I get pushed up the, uh, the list on YouTube that's how they work their algorithms with the mo algorithm algorithms with the most likes and comments and everything else it pushes you up and more people get to see my channel and if you're already a subscriber the same as Jeff I thank you very much and it was great meeting Jeff again anybody if you're a subscriber to my channel and you see me come and say good day it's, it it's just wonderful to meet you guys so until next time get out there have some fun and take care <laughs>